Hello, everyone, and welcome back to 2230, your source for in-depth analysis and updates on news and events from the Asian region. I'm here to bring you the latest on a shocking incident that unfolded in Indonesia, turning a fun holiday into a terrifying ordeal. On October 25th, a group of 11 tourists from the neighboring Silakap Regency embarked on what should have been an exciting adventure at the Limpakuwas Pine Forest in central Java. They ventured onto the Jong, a glass bridge seemingly suspended by two colossal golden hands, an attraction that promised breathtaking views and adrenaline-filled moments. However, what should have been a thrilling experience quickly took a nightmarish turn. Without warning, the glass panels beneath their feet gave way, plunging four tourists into chaos. The harrowing sound of shattering glass filled the air at around 10 a.m., leaving everyone in shock. Two of the tourists miraculously managed to grasp the metal railings, clinging to dear life, but the other two weren't as fortunate. Tragically, a 49-year-old woman known as F.A. met a grim fate, losing her life at the scene. Meanwhile, a 41-year-old woman named A.I. suffered minor injuries and was rushed to the hospital. In the wake of this horrifying incident, Indonesian authorities swiftly cordoned off the site and launched an investigation into the matter. As part of these investigations, they will be speaking to witnesses and scrutinizing the owner and manager of the Jong. Additionally, a forensic laboratory will assess the bridge to determine the cause of its catastrophic failure. This tragic event has raised pressing concerns about the safety of tourist attractions across the country. In response, the Baniyumas Regency government announced a temporary shutdown of places with glass bridges until they receive functional certificates. This move aims to ensure the safety of the public as they enjoy these attractions. It's important to note that safety concerns were previously raised. The chairman of the Limpakuwas Pine Forest Cooperative, Eco Panamo, reached out to the Jong's manager back in April for a safety evaluation. However, instead of attending the meeting in person, the manager reportedly sent a representative, and there was no substantial discussion. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the need for stricter safety checks on potentially perilous tourist attractions, not only in Indonesia but globally. As we follow the developments in this tragic incident, let us hope that it encourages greater vigilance and accountability within the tourism industry. Safety should always be a top priority, ensuring that all tourists can embark on their adventures with peace of mind. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more updates on stories like these. I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe enough is being done to ensure the safety of tourists at attractions like glass bridges? What additional safety measures do you think should be in place? Your insights matter, and they contribute to the broader discussion on this critical issue. Thank you for joining us today, and stay tuned for more engaging and informative content right here on 2230.